Hey guys, it's Melina and we're here in Princess Town. Yes, we need bush. And today we came down to check the ice cream chef, Delana, because she has something called curry ice cream. If you never hear about curry ice cream, that's what brings me here. Well, we have some other interesting flavors as well. We have baba, stop, you have cocoa, stop, you have, you name it. We'll see what she have now. Hi, my name is Delana and the name of the business is Ice Cream Chef Limited. So my husband and I, we went to the beach and while we were on our way, there was this lady selling ice cream on the side of the road. And when we got to our turn, the woman turned and told me all the ice cream done after we wait so long for the ice cream. So I made a joke and I told him, I said, um, like ice cream and money, yeah, boy, but let me make some ice cream and sell. And of course, I mean, I was joking, but I was serious, right? But he thought I was joking. And after that, I really did it. <laughs> what most people do not know is that this is a family owned business. Um, people would just see me most of the time, right? But um, it's my parents, my sister, one of my cousins, and just one of my very close friends. We are all the owners. Initially, I stuck to what was safe. So it would have been things like coconut, chocolate, peanut. And then after I decided, okay, the name of the business is Ice Cream Chef. So I need to try something a little bit more adventurous and out there. So I um, purchased some recipe books and then I started looking online for kind of far out there flavors. So I started doing things like ice cream with limes. So I have a flavor called Creamy Tangy Lime. And then people would be like, lime? Because lime will curdle milk, right? But you have to know what you're doing. So I do a lime, I do curry. Um, I also do a charcoal, I do edos, but it tastes like barfi, roasted garlic. So I also do the coco sop, which is a fusion of coconut and sour sop. Right, so that's just a few of the strange flavors. We're in here and we're going to try the charcoal ice cream. I've never had anything like this before, so let's see. Wow, I'm getting a really... It's like charcoal, but it tastes in sweet. I don't understand. Mm. I got a nice mild flavor of coconut as well. Uh, ice cream chef by ice cream chef. <laughs> so we try to grow the inputs that are going to the ice cream. The barbadines, the mamsi po, passion fruits, even the yam. I do ice cream with yam too. The plantains, we grow our own plantains as well. Um, so that would help to reduce the cost for me. <laughs> right? And then it will be that it would have less chemicals. Because we don't put any chemicals, it's organic. COVID was a kind of difficult period again for everybody, not just me, right? And what ended up happening, um, I ended up closing down my shop front as a result of COVID. But it, was, it created an opportunity for me. So it allowed me to finish this manufacturing space. And then I was able to really focus on making ice cream just to distribute. I'm about to taste this mystery flavor. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm going to taste it. Oh, it's planting. <laughs> Very interesting. Recently, uh, one of the ice creams that I make went viral for many reasons. And um, it went viral actually for the wrong reasons, but I am grateful that it ended up turning around for a positive. Um, and as a curry ice cream. So what I want Trinidadians to know is that one, curry ice cream has been around a long time. I am not the only person that makes curry ice cream. And I also want them to know that curry ice cream will not cause diarrhea as being spread like wildfire on Facebook. That is not true. And if they don't believe me, all you have to do is contact Sunny Bing because he came, he tested it, and he let everybody know on Alive and on the radio station, it does not make you sick. This is the real thing I come here for? The curry ice cream. Well, it tastes straight from the pack. <laughs> it's nice though. It's a very strong curry taste and again some creaminess. But it's nice. It's a nice, yeah, you should try it. Right now, um, there are two places that I've put freezers. Um, the first one is Michel Citron's Mini Mart in Mafikin. So as you are entering Mafikin Village on the left hand side, there's this huge yellowish orange building. Her Mini Mart is there, so you can get the ice creams there. And there's a pharmacy called Drugs R Us in current village. After you pass C3, you can also get the ice cream stay. And other than that, directly from myself or from the representative in the East, um, Esther James. To place your orders, 
you can reach me either by phone 397-5468. You could WhatsApp or you could send it directly through the business inbox on Facebook or on Instagram. All right, guys. So we're just leaving Princess Town here and there's so many lovely flavors from the ice cream chef. We got to taste the curry ice cream, the charcoal and the plantain. That curry ice cream is not something to play with in a good way. Yeah. Is your right dog hide your personality? <laughs> she just vex she not happy. She must be not happy with she life or some kind of thing. <laughs> we saw time with us. I'm glad you're having my laugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? It's like straight curry. It's like not even trying to fool you. It's like curry. <laughs> 